We have some clearing that wants to take place. It's happening up near Cleveland right now, but you can see outside the window, there's only clouds over Pittsburgh. So it's going to take a little time for those to break up. We're at 44 degrees right now. The deal is it's breezy. So with the clouds, we get breezy conditions of 44 degrees, and that's also setting us up for a wind chill, making it feel like 37 here in Pittsburgh. Many of our wind chills are down into the mid to upper 30s. It feels like 36 in Connellsville, Latrobe 37, Indiana 38, 40 for Beaver Falls. Actual temperatures are generally in these low to mid 40s. You can see 44 Waynesburg to Morgantown, Butler at 43, Newcastle 43 degrees as well, and Cranberry 45. Now through the night, our temperatures are going to dip down to the lower 30s. It's going to be a chilly night. It's going to be breezy too, so wind chills will likely be down into the 20s. So overnight, a little colder, but tomorrow our temperatures start to take off. We're looking at highs to make a run for the upper 50s, and then into Thursday. And Friday, we are talking temperatures in the 70s. Now, the deal is with these 70s, we're going to see some showers and thunderstorms. So tomorrow, that's not a big concern for us. Most of the day is going to be dry overnight tonight. This high pressure will even clear us out a little bit. But tomorrow, quickly in the morning, those clouds return. And this is ahead of the showers and thunderstorms that we're watching uh, coming out of Texas, coming out of Oklahoma. And this is going to lift up towards us, bringing us showers and thunderstorms late tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, and into Thursday. So it's going to get a little more unsettled heading into the end of the week. You can see the clouds breaking up over the next several hours, but they've come right back into play for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow evening, about 5, 6 o'clock, we see the rain return. So most of the day is going to be dry. So it's, it's not going to be the, the brightest day, but it's going to be a dry day. Now we get the showers and thunderstorms tomorrow night. Some of this rain heavy. This moves through early Thursday. We finish up that rain. Later Thursday, the next wave comes through. And we're going to see another one of those waves coming in on Friday. So it will be an unsettled end to the week. It's ultimately going to end up with a colder weekend. 30 degrees with those clouds early, clearing late. Tomorrow, you're looking at temperatures in the upper 50s. And again, the rain is late in the day. Most of it dry. As for tomorrow, you can see the clouds through much of it. And right around 5, 6 o'clock, we see the showers. We see a couple thunderstorms coming back. So a stormy end to the day. And you can see Thursday, those uh, afternoon thunderstorms return. Friday, they'll be scattered around through the course of the day. And it's all because of a cold front pushing in. And you can see what that cold front does. We go from Friday's temperature in the lower 70s to Saturday's temperature in the lower 40s, a pretty much a 30 degree drop. Big drop, but at least it gets brighter, right? Saturday, mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. Sunshine for Sunday. We'll be right back.